Hi friends, so glad you're here. Today I'm gonna make this dress again. If you haven't seen it yet, I made this dress just a few weeks ago and I have a video of it here on my channel. And you guys were so sweet and supportive of that video, so thank you so much. Fun fact, uh, I had no idea that the walk away dress challenge was a thing when I made that video. <laughs> I, didn't have a clue. I had never heard of that before. I just really love this dress. It was one of the first dresses that I ever made. And yeah, that's why I made it. So I started getting comments from you all on that video talking about this walk away dress thing and, and challenge. And it was news to me. I had no idea. So I'm not doing a challenge today. I'm just making this dress. I honestly still don't really know what the challenge exactly entails other than it involves making this dress. So I'm just making this dress today and I will walk you through what I'm doing in a moment. One of you lovely ladies commented and said that I should make it again in black and I love that idea. I think this would make such a fantastic little black dress. So that's what I'm going to do today and I'm going to do it two different ways. So I'm going to make it with a tablecloth for one and the tablecloth is only big enough to do what I did last time which was make a modification to the skirt so that I'll just be using one skirt panel for this. I loved the way it turned out in my last video so I'm excited to do that again and then I'm going to make a second little black dress that is going to have the full skirt. So I hope you'll enjoy coming along to see this. If you want to see a much more detailed tutorial then check out my last video making this dress. This one, especially since I'm making two of them, it'll probably be a little bit less in depth than it was last time, but hopefully you'll still be able to see pretty clearly what I'm doing and I will talk you through it on the voiceover. And I'm really excited to make these dresses, so let's go. Disclaimer time, I am not a professional seamstress. I make mistakes and I'm still learning a lot. I'm just doing things the way that works for me and the way that I do things may not always be technically correct. And I'm sorry if that annoys some of you. I'm a busy mom of two and I like to just focus on keeping things simple and efficient in my very limited sewing time. So if I'm not your cup of tea, that is totally okay. There are lots of amazing professional seamstresses to watch online, but I hope you'll stick around to hang out and we can make some really lovely things together. So thanks for listening, friends. Now let's get into the video. All right, so this is the material I'm working with. I like to work with thrifted fabrics, so this is just kind of what I had on hand. So on the right, I have a black tablecloth, and that's gonna be for the more simple dress that we're modifying. And then this is just on the left, some really simple, I think it's just some black cotton, nothing fancy, but there was enough of it, just barely enough of it to be able to do the full dress with that. So this is the pattern I'm using. Again, I'm not doing like a challenge. I just really like this dress. So <laughs> I'm just making this dress for fun. So this is what we're working with. I love this pattern because it's so simple. You can see there's just three pieces. So, well, I guess technically four if you're doing two of the skirt panels, but we have the skirt, the upper back, and then the front piece. And you can see there kind of how they go together with the skirt attaching to the upper back piece. And then the upper back piece attaching to the shoulders of the front piece. So simple. And then here I am cutting out the pieces on the cotton fabric. That's gonna be the full dress with two skirt panels. So you've got your front piece, upper back piece, and then the skirt piece. And I'm, you know, I'm not doing this video nearly as in depth as I did my other video. So if you wanna see all the details, the entire process of making this dress, I will link my other video making this dress where I went a lot more in depth um, and I, you know, I apologize if you don't see quite as much as you wanted to see in this one. I kind of wish that I had filmed a little bit more than I did, but what's done is done. At the time, it kind of felt a little weird to be doing it all over again. So anyway, just cutting out the pieces in both of the different fabrics and with the tablecloth material, I'm only doing one skirt panel and then I'm doing two skirt panels with the other material. And I'm really curious to hear what you guys think of... The dresses at the end with the modified version versus the more full skirt version. I also ended up making a couple modifications to the neckline and the shoulders on one of the dresses as well. So stay tuned to see that. And here I'm just kind of showing you my pieces. So you saw a moment ago the front piece and the upper back piece and then here's the skirt pieces. They're so big, so full and there's two 
for this dress, and then there's going to be one panel for the next dress, which you will see in a moment. Hopefully my voiceover is lining up nicely. My footage as I'm watching this is kind of stopping and starting a little bit here and there, so I apologize if this doesn't match up perfectly. But you're just kind of getting to see each of the different pieces, and then I will talk you through the next steps in a moment. I'm going to go through and finish my edges nicely. And I didn't record that, but again, if you want to see that, you can check out my other video. All right, so I'm not doing a lining layer for these dresses. I have made this dress with a lining layer before, and it really just weighed it down and made it really bulky, and I just felt like it was unnecessary. So it also requires a ton of fabric that I just don't really want to use for something boring like a lining. So I'm not doing a lining for these dresses, so I went through and just cleaned up and finished my edges on each of my pieces here so that they are nice and and clean and ready to be attached together and really at this point it's just a matter of attaching the pieces together and then the dress will be pretty much done I obviously have to go through and iron things and I'll have to do the button closures that I'm gonna do but other than that we're very close to being done so I will check in with you again in a minute once I have pinned everything together so you can kind of see a little bit of how the pieces go together. And again, if you want a little bit more detail going over all this and seeing more of the process of me sewing my edges and stuff, you can check out my previous video making this dress which is a little bit more thorough and detailed. So this is the front piece for the more full dress. This is the upper back piece, and then this is the giant skirt under here. It's all folded up, but it is a beautiful full skirt. And then here's my front piece, upper back piece, and skirt piece for the other dress that's going to be a little bit less full in the skirt. All right, so I'm going to attach the front piece to the upper back piece here at the shoulders. They'll be attached there. So this is the upper back piece attached to the front piece. And then this is the big beautiful full skirt and it's going to be attached to the bottom of this upper back piece. So I've just taken the skirt and put it right sides together with the bottom of the upper back piece or the yes upper back piece and I'm going to sew along that to attach it. So I hope that makes sense. All right it is the next day. These dresses are almost done. All of the edges are finished and clean and pretty. They are attached together, so the front piece, upper back piece, skirt pieces, all of that, all attached together. So really the dress is made. At this point I just need to iron them, try them on, and kind of see if I need to make any adjustments. And put in a couple darts, which I know you're supposed to do your darts earlier in the project. This is just how I do things. I like to do them a little bit later because I find that it allows me to place them a little bit closer to where I need them to be. So. Yeah, that's how I do things. What else do we have to do? Oh, the buttons. So I'm going to close mine with buttons in the front and in the back. So got to do those. But very close, just a few things left. And I'm so excited to show you these finished dresses. All right, the dresses are pretty much done. I just ironed them and tried them on, figured out where I needed my darts to be. So I figured I wouldn't show you how I did the darts because it's really boring to watch and I don't think you'd be able to see it very well anyway. So I'm gonna link a video in the description box showing you how to do darts. And I'm also gonna put that in the description box of my other video since I messed up my darts on my other dress. So that being said, the darts are in and I'm confident that I did them correctly this time. I know these ones are looking like they're bulging a tiny bit but they just need to be pushed out like that a little bit and they're fine so I don't know that's the best I can do I <laughs> I checked and double checked to make sure that I was doing these properly and I I don't know that's the best I could get my darts so anyway the darts are done on both dresses everything else is done I think I didn't really have to make many adjustments to the fit of it thankfully so now I'm just going to go ahead and choose my closings my little, oh, this is all stuck, my buttons for the front closure, and I'm also just going to do a button in the back closure as well. So you will see me attaching some buttons in just a minute, and then these dresses will be done. Now I'm just going through and choosing what buttons I want to use, and again, as I'm kind of watching this footage back and editing this video, it's hitting me that 
it feels really wrong that I didn't film any of, you know, finishing my edges or actually sewing the pieces together. But at the time when I was recording all of this, I just felt like I had just made a video going in depth showing how I made this dress. <laughs> so it just felt kind of weird to do the whole thing all over again. But I apologize if, you know, if this isn't quite where you were hoping it would be. I think I'm wishing I had filmed a little bit more than I did. But what's done is done. And I will, again, link my other video making this dress so you can see in much more detail what I did to kind of finish my edges and sew the pieces together and everything. But hopefully you're kind of getting at least the general overview of how this all goes together. And there is the dress. This is dress number one. So pretty. And I realize... The underskirt, kind of that front piece is too short on this. So rest assured, I did go back and fix that afterwards. At the time, I just didn't realize just how much too short that was. So my bad. All right, so this is dress number one. This is the one that I did with the full skirt with two panels. And I love it. It's really swooshy. It has that beautiful full skirt. The only problem that I see, I don't know why this front piece is so much shorter. Then the skirt, I haven't had that problem when I've made this dress before. So I'm not quite sure what happened there, but thankfully that's an easy fix. So I'll probably just shorten the skirt a little bit to make it line up a little bit better. But other than that, I'm really happy with it. I left the shoulders a little wider on this one than I did on the other one. So you'll see that in a minute. Cause I really like the kind of wider, more fifties look, but I know that is something that some people have had a problem with when they've made this dress. So that's kind of up to you. I did, take in the shoulders a little bit on the second dress, which I will show you in just a moment. I love the little pearl buttons. I know they're probably not the ideal choice. So you can see they're kind of, it pulls a little bit and you know, it's not perfect, but I think it's pretty and I like it. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's swooshy and delightful and I'm just obsessed with this pattern. <laughs> now I'll show you the second dress. Here is dress number two, so pretty. This is how I did my other dress. Again, just kind of based on the amount of fabric I had. And I think for kind of having to, you know, make things work with a small amount of fabric, this is a really, really great modification. And it's still just such a gorgeous dress. I love it. So this is the second dress. This one just has the one skirt panel. So this is the modified one. And I also took in the shoulders a little bit on this one. And I think I prefer it actually with the wider shoulders like I did on the first dress, which is according to the pattern itself. Um, so yeah, this dress is modified in the shoulders and in the skirt. And I do like the skirt modification. This is again what I did in my last video making this dress. Um, and that was because of the amount of fabric I had to work with. So it was just kind of working with what I had and making the dress happen even though I didn't have enough fabric for the full skirt and it turned out gorgeous I loved it and I do like it in this too it is a different kind of look and a different kind of feel I think but it is very pretty and the shoulders like I said in my last video I mentioned that they are a little bit wide and I know some other people have had trouble with the shoulders on the dress just being too wide so I wanted to see what it would look like if I did take them in a little bit. And I also took the neckline and kind, kind of tightened it a little bit too. I think I prefer it the other way. For me, personally, I like that kind of 50s look of having everything a little bit wider and just a little bit wider on the neckline, a little farther off the shoulder. So that's just me. That's my preference. But you can kind of see the difference a little bit. If I can figure out how, maybe I'll put a little side-by-side -side comparison in a second of both of the dresses together. But um, this one, the hem on the front piece is also a tiny bit too short. Again, not really sure how I did that. Didn't have that problem in the past, but it's an easy fix. So other than that, I'm really happy with it. I did make this one a little bit simpler with just one simple black button. And I think that makes it a little bit more wearable instead of being something that's dressier like the first dress is. So, all right. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making these dresses again. So now I have made this dress four times and I'm learning, you know, every time that I make it, I learn a little bit more. But I think at this point, I'm sure I will be making this dress again in the future because I just love it so much. And if I can find a fabric that I feel like suits it really well, I might as well do it again. So in the future, I think 
I'll make it with the wider shoulders. I think I do prefer it that way. And you know, the, I, the skirt, I really like the skirt either way. I'm a sucker for a really, really full swooshy skirt, but I think it looks really pretty with one skirt panel too. So I hope you enjoyed watching and you know, I, I appreciate you being here and bearing with me as I do things my way and you know, make, make garments in the amount of time that I have to work with, which as a mom of two is not a whole lot of time. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll come back soon for more videos. I have so many super exciting, fun projects planned for the future and I hope you will join me for those. So see you guys later. Oh, and don't forget to check out my other video, Making This Dress. Just keep in mind that I made an oopsie on the darts somehow. So, but I will also, like I said, I'll link a video in the description of that video too, showing you how to do darts properly since I messed them up. But the video other than that, I think is, is great. And the dress turned out absolutely gorgeous. It's that green dress is probably one of my favorite things I've ever made. So, all right. See you guys later. Bye. If you want to stick around for another minute, Betty here is going to help me show you each of the dresses on the mannequin as well, a little bit closer up. So here is dress number one on the mannequin, just to give you another view of it. Again, this is the one that has the full skirt and has the neckline and the shoulders just based off of the pattern. I didn't make any adjustments or modifications to this one. I'll say it before someone yells at me in the comments. I know my darts are not perfect. I don't know why I can't get them to be perfect. That's, I don't know. I, I know I'm doing it properly. Like every, every video I've watched showing me how to do the perfect darts. I do what they tell me to do, but my darts are just still not perfect. Oh, well. Oh, well. I recognize it. I'm sorry if it bugs you. Just, just, just the way it is. I'm learning. So yeah, this is dress number one. So pretty. I love it. It's perfect, I think, for a date night or something like that. And here's dress number two. This is the one that I modified. So this has just the one skirt panel and the shoulders that I took in a little bit. Same with the neckline. Just took the neckline in a tiny bit. Not huge adjustments, but I feel like when you saw it on my body, it showed those changes a little bit better than it does on the mannequin. But there you go. Yeah. Love this one. It's still super pretty and dressy, especially by today's standards, but I do feel like it's a little bit more wearable, you know, day to day than definitely than the other one. So there you have it. There is a little look at dress number two.